My name is Petty Officer First Class Alex Ivey. I'm a tuba instrumentalist assigned to the U.S. Pacific Fleet Band here at Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam. This year marks the 75th anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor, and I am filled with a sense of pride and honor as I prepare for the upcoming events. I am personally invested in one particular event happening during this week of commemoration, the honoring of Navy veteran Ira Ike Schaub, who was a tuba instrumentalist assigned to Navy Band 13 on the USS Dobbin during the attack of Pearl Harbor 75 years ago. My name is Ira Schaub. I enlisted in the Navy, it was actually March 28th, 1939, yes. The, the bands in the ship's bands always played colors at eight o'clock every morning. And about the time we were going to go up to get, grab our instruments and go to the fantail where they're going to raise the colors, the alarm was sounded, and I didn't have a battle station on that, on that at that particular time. So I decided out of curiosity to come up and have a look around, and I saw the Utah capsizing. I'm 96 now, so I don't know if I'm going to ever get a chance to get back, so I might as well take advantage of it while I can. Ira continued to serve in the Navy until 1947, having a fulfilling naval career. However, there is one thing that Ira did not achieve while serving in the Navy his dream of being a Navy bandmaster, a dream he thought he had sacrificed long ago, until today. Here at the Pearl Harbor Visitor Center, Ira Schaub will be given the title Honorary Bandmaster and the opportunity to conduct Liberty Bell March. It's kind of like old times. <laughs> it's been so many years that it was the last time I had a baton in my hand. And the emotions were almost overwhelming and they were almost flooding and uh, it brought back some wonderful, wonderful memories. Ira's naval career and his life are the embodiment of the Navy Corps values of honor, courage, and commitment. He showed integrity and dedication to duty as a tuba instrumentalist despite never having the opportunity to be a bandmaster during his time in service. And he held himself accountable as a sailor, honoring his role as a musician during a challenging time in U.S. naval history, always remaining professional to overcome the challenges that were presented. These are values that I, too, strive to live by, because they inspire me to be the best Navy musician I can be. And I will pass these lessons on to future sailors and generations so that we can, together, continue to march forward as the beat goes on.